Hi there, this is Chris Kellett with MuseGrid.com and we're going to take a look at the Circles Countdown Timer widget, how to install it and how to use it. So first of all, let's take a look at the package that we have. We've downloaded, we've unpacked it. We have our PDF installation guide here, but it's as really just as simple as double clicking and we have it opening up into our library here. So here we have the widget itself installed it twice now and inside is the package so we're going to click on it and drag it onto the page what you'll see then is the options and we'll see a preview of what it currently looks like now let's break it down and take a look and see what we've got here we've got our days we've got our hours we've got minutes and we've got seconds we've got an outer circle although it looks like it's an inner circle at the moment that's an outer circle in that green there and we've got the outer circle in this turquoise here we can scale it easily just by dragging into place and it will scale the items up and let's take a look in preview so we can see it running and we can see here it's an animated countdown widget and let's take a look at the other options that we have for it. So we have, we can hide the different elements so we can switch off the units, just have it as days or days and hours and so on. And then to actually set the widget to the correct date, we want to set the date the date that we're counting down to. So let's say, for instance, we were counting down to the last day of this year, so 2014, and then we'll choose December and 31st. So we can see this rendered counting down. Um, we want to set the hour, so let's choose uh, starting hour is going to be, let's choose hour one, so we're running on a 24 hour clock here, and the starting minute, so that's obviously 60. Now we also have this here, which is the outer circle width, and at the moment we've got it set to 0.5. So if we change this to 2, watch what happens now. So now the circle is twice as wide as the inner circle. So if we set that to 1.5, we can see it's one and a half times the size of the, and so we can control the look here. If we set that to 1, then it's all the same width. We also have color control here. So if I choose some swatches, if I go to my swatch library here, and let's say for instance, this nice pinkish color here, and we're going to select that color hex code there. And I'm gonna go in and I'm going to put it as the outer color. And now I'm going to choose this darker purplish color select that color there, click OK, and apply it to the inner circle color. Now I'm going to draw a box behind it, send that to the back, and I'm going to put this dark color into it, oh, maybe a little bit lighter. There we go. Mm, no, don't like that either. Let's just go with, here we go. There we go. So I'm gonna put that box behind it. And now I'm going to click on here and choose for the text color. White. Now if we take a look at this in preview, can see here we have our animation running nicely we have our colors and it's very easy to use so you can use multiple versions on the page if you want to with different dates but they will inherit the colors and you can resize and scale and it works very nicely 
So that's how you use the um, Circles Countdown Timer widget, and we look forward to seeing what you use it for. And thanks for watching.